Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look through all my coloring book and art supply hauls for the months of March and April. This is a double month because last month I wasn't feeling so well, so I decided to just combine it together with my April haul. Actually thinking about maybe going forward, I might do a double month anyway because I'm kind of trying to cut down on my spending. Well, I, I think I say this every month. I probably say you probably like, yeah, right, Crystal. But really, I'm trying to not do so much every month. So I might be doing my hauls every other month from now on. But we'll see what happens. This might be a little bit longer than my uh, regular videos that I do. I do usually try to keep my videos pretty short. What I'm going to do is put timestamps down below so you can skip around and if you're more interested in coloring books, you can skip to that section, or if you're more interested in art supplies, you can skip to that section. Okay, so let's get started. All right, I'm a little bit disorganized for this video. I'm kind of all over the place. I think I'm gonna start off with art supplies because that's what's on the top of my pile right now. So let's see, I'll start off with this Happy Mail that I got from Monet over at the Coloring Diva. She ended up getting a larger set, so she sent me the smaller set to try. I didn't have them yet. And she said, you know, see if you like them before you make the commitment of buying a bigger set. So that was really nice of her. So I haven't really tried them out yet. Then kind of in the same vein, I thought we would try them. I tried these out actually, and I wasn't too thrilled. These are by Pentel and they're watercolor sticks, antique mix now. I ordered these because I don't know if you saw this other video I did a while ago on some oil pastels. Um, they were supposed to be water soluble. They're more randy colors. I'm very into like a muted Morandi color palette lately. So I saw this one set that said they were, they were water soluble. So I was very excited and I ordered them and I ended up being disappointed that they weren't water soluble. So I actually ended up returning those. I did do a video on them, but then I went looking again on a, my never ending search for water soluble stuff. So I came across these and they have a couple of different sets. This is um, an antique mix and the colors are Apple green, olive green, ice blue, peacock blue, mauve pink, crimson lake, rosy gray, dark reddish brown, beige, light ochre, light terracotta, and yellow gray. So you can see they're all like nice little muted tones. So I was like, oh, that, that'll be like a nice replacement for what I thought that other set was. So I ordered them. They took quite a while. They were about 18 something when I purchased them. They did come from Amazon Japan. I don't know if I mentioned that. But they did come from Amazon Japan. I did, of course, look on YouTube before I made the purchase because I wanted to, I didn't want to make the same mistake twice like I did with that other set of pastels, oil pastels. So I did see a video from someone. So I think these must have been be out for quite some time now, for like a few years. The video I did find was about three years old. And I forget what the girls, I think her name is Alice Lim, if I'm not mistaken. So she was testing out a few different sets. There's, I know there's like a sweet mix, this antique mix, a cocktail mix. Um, I'm not sure, there's there's, uh, there's a few. But I did, uh, I did order another set of these maybe like a week ago. And the set I ordered was called Midnight Mix, so it was another kind of muted tones. So I thought I wouldn't, work well together with this 12 so I have 24 colors all together so I did test them out a little bit I wasn't too thrilled with the color payoff of them but I tried them out on this petal of the secret garden book I'll show you I did test them out of this color what is this color This one, mauve pink. So I tried them out on this petal and I wasn't too thrilled with the color payoff. I thought they were really kind of like a washed out. Mm, but I guess, I don't know. 
in comparison to like a Neo, this Neo, the Neo 2s or even Among Yo, but these aren't really, I don't think they're so great. Um, let's see, I have a water brush with water in it already. Like that, it hardly even looks, oops, put too much water. Like it hardly even looks that much different with the water than it does without the water, you know what I mean? And they feel like really, really delicate in your hands too. Like I'm almost afraid, you know, I'm kind of a heavy handed colorist at times, well, most of the time. And I feel like if I press too hard, I might break it in half basically. So I guess they're all right for, I only pay, I paid 18 something for them. So I'm not really too upset, especially since they came all the way from Amazon Japan. And that's basically, I got essentially getting it like free shipping. That's, they do take quite a long time to arrive because it's probably since you're not paying the, because I do, I did see a one set of them up on Amazon, like regular Amazon, and this price was 42 something. So that's obviously, you know, with shipping included, like a higher priority of shipping included. So you'll notice when you order stuff from Amazon Japan, um, it's usually around like $20 or so for shipping and it comes like so fast. Uh, but this one um, took a couple of weeks to come, which I don't mind going, but especially since I'm not that excited for them. So um, I will try and use them again on maybe something else on a, maybe if I were these. I do like that it comes in this little container. It's really cute. It's actually, it looks like something if I was in if I was a kid in school I would be excited to carry this around like in my book bag or something like that so and you could fit more stuff in here too if you wanted to you could probably fit like another 12 of the crayons maybe even in there too like another set so I'm still waiting for the other set the midnight mix I don't think I'm planning on getting any more of them because I'm not too impressed but I guess they're all right. I would guess I would give them like a C plus, maybe. Um, I don't know. Feeling generous today. I'll give them a C plus. Maybe on a different day, I might be like, oh, they, they're terrible. But today, I feel like I'm, I'm in a good mood today. I give them a, I'll give them a pass. Uh, maybe I just need to try them out on some different stuff. Let's see let's do the other petal with um the neo 2 we'll see what the difference is already like it's a different color it's a darker color but if we just do it like a little bit here yeah you can definitely see why these these cost more they're a lot more pigmented i don't really know much about this these Neo Jews. I've never really paid much attention to them. Like I, I know about them, but um, I'm not, like I can't spout off like all their capabilities, but you can tell these are definitely worth the money in my opinion, in comparison to like a cheaper product, like something like this. And I only used, um, I didn't even color the whole flower. I was able to drag it out throughout the whole petal. When I tried to do that with this one, it didn't work. All right, so there's a little test comparison between the Neo 2 and the Pentel Waters Color 6. All right, so the next up, I have this little mini tin box of Sci Art Gallery watercolor paints. I really, I, I'm like, I have to stop myself from buying more of these watercolor paints. I'm like, Crystal, you have, you have like all the colors of already, so you don't need to keep buying more. But I bought this one and I did swatch, I swatched them out over here. They're nice. I like this classic gold and the moon gold. It's really nice too. Well, I like all of them, but I didn't end up using the magnets that come with it because 
um, I putting them in this bigger tin here that I have all my other ones in that I had shown you guys previously. So um, I, was, I have all I have spots all over here for for them. I put all the golds on this side, like the metallic colors, and then I put the colorful colors on here. You can see I left I leave the the name of the paint. And I just peel it off and stick it on to the to the tins to the pans so I don't lose the color names. Um, and then I this was um forget maybe it was an Arteza palette that I transferred them into a different palette. So I put all these Jane Davenport stickers on top. All right, and then speaking of Jane Davenport, I got all of this Jane Davenport stuff on clearance. I did do a dedicated video to all of this stuff, so I'm not gonna go through it in great detail with you right now. I'll put the card in the corner if you wanna check that video out. So any cards that I put up in the video, if you go down the description box, you'll see them at the, at the end of the description, so you can just click on it. You don't have to leave me right now and click on it, of course, but if you want to watch it later, just go to the description box and the link will be down there too. So I got all of these mermaid markers and I ended up putting them, I don't have that much space to, sh to zoom out here on this table, but I got this from the Dollar Tree. It's the one that you he got apart it comes apart in the package but you put it together and it's really cool for actually I think I got this for a dollar and a dollar foot before it came became a dollar 25 store so I have this um, I have a couple of them actually I think but I decided to use them for the Mervyn markers because I needed something to keep them upright in the package and I didn't have enough room and I have a marker case with Spectrum Noir glitter brush pens and I didn't have enough room for them in there so this is actually quite perfect because they recommend that you keep them upright and then the rest of this is mostly all of all of these inks I got for Lichie but actually since I did that video and I showed you guys all these things. I went back because I was like, oh, maybe I'm gonna get some more stuff. Um, the, it, it's even cheaper now than when I ordered that. I think these things were like around four dollars. Some of them were four or something, and some were two something. But now they're like all like two dollars, one dollar. Everything's like two dollars and one dollar. It's got marked down too. So, um, not sure if it's still that way, but definitely go check it out because I got some really, really, there's some really, really good deals on there so everything I'm showing you guys I'll of course leave the links in the description and if I forget anything just remind me be like hey Crystal what happened to this where is the link I'll put in there for you Go back down here I got these stumps paper stumps now I got these along with um, the same time I ordered that those Mirandi um, oil pastels and my intention was to actually use them for um, using coloring with um, some oil pastels because I have like about three or four boxes of oil pastels that I never use because I never really knew how to use them in coloring books except for backgrounds and stuff so I know I watched um, Johanna's channel and she was using these. Um, I think she was said she was inspired by another somebody else's channel. Or, I'm not really, I can't really remember which one, but I, I really like how she, she always says she's inspired by um, whenever she tries something that she saw somewhere else, she says she's inspired by. So I was inspired by Johanna's inspiration being inspired also so I thought that was really cool how she used these so I'm gonna try that out then I got these couple of palettes from the Dollar Tree or as I now call it the Dollar 25 tree but um, 
There was another, there's another one in here. I already took it out and I used it, but not bad for $1.25. I do like to use it for mixing different pastels or if I don't want to use the pastel directly, watercolor pastels. My Mungio ones, mainly, if I don't want to use it directly on the page, I'll scribble out a little bit here and then I'll dip my paintbrush in it and use it like a watercolor. So I got some more of those. This is not art supplies, it's nail stickers. I don't know if you know, it's my nails have been sans nail polish stickers for quite some time now. They look awful, but I get these at TJ Maxx. There's like a ton of them there. I don't know, maybe they're not selling or what, but I get their, they have them for $5. So I think a couple of dollars cheaper than if you would to buy them online, these Dashing Diva ones. I, I like these the best. I found that I like these the best because they're easiest to take on and off. I was using some of them that are more like gel, gel, actual gel nail polish, and I would be ripping them off my nails, and I was damaging my nails really bad. So kind of giving them a rest right now. So, But as soon as they get nice and strong enough, I'll be putting the my stickers back on. Let's see what else. I ended up purchasing these Crayola colored pencils. One day when I was at Walgreens, actually, I wasn't even actually in the market for buying these pencils. I wasn't, I know there's a hundred, was it 120 set? I know everybody's been talking about it, but Walgreens only had up to a 50 set and I didn't even want to buy. I was like, let me buy a smaller set because I don't know if I'm going to really like them. I don't know. Do you guys have these? Um, I didn't even try them out. You want to try them out? Let's, let's do, let's swatch them. It's only 24 colors. That'll be fun. Let's see if we even like them. Yeah, so I didn't want to go ahead and buy a whole 120 set in case I didn't like them. And I have another, so I'm stuck with some, another bunch of pencils I don't like. Which, um, and I've got a lot of pencils I regret buying. That's for sure. It's so hard. Like, if you get a pencil set you don't, and you're not crazy for it, then it's like... It's not like coloring books. You could kind of like give it away or I don't know. It's To me, it's easier to give away a coloring book or, or to mail somebody a coloring book. Pencils are so heavy, especially if they leave them in the tin. It's like not really cost effective to even ship them to somebody or try and sell them on eBay. But so it's like I feel kind of stuck. And I would wish I if I could find some place to donate to around by me, I would totally do that. But. I really don't know with something like that because I don't think, I know people always say you could donate to like a, um, like a senior citizen home or something like that, but I don't know. That's something I actually want to look into um, in the future to see if I can de-stash some of my pencils that I have that I'm not too crazy about. But anyway, let's try these Crayolas out. This one is sky blue. Nice. I actually, the first pencils I ever really started using when I started adult coloring was some, I had some Crayola dual tips there and I, I did enjoy those. So this is black. What color is this? Violet purple. Um, they're okay. Kind of hard, but you know. I think they're nice if you want to do some straight coloring. I don't know. I'll try. I'll, I'm going to try them out on a page. I'll let you guys. I'll give you an update. This is mahogany. This. The yellow orange. No peach. No peach. Okay. Tan. Jade green. There's regular green. I actually think I enjoy using Crayola crayons more than the pencil. It's like blue. Light brown. This aqua green. Yellow. Yellow green. Maybe we're stalled, maybe here in the background. Um, blue. It's orange. It's almost like it's orange. It's almost the same. It's a little bit darker. 
Golden yellow. Red orange. Gray. Brown. Wait, no, no. Yeah, that's a Magenta. Red. So, it's a pretty good color selection for 24 pencils, I think. Um, how much did I pay for these? I think I paid $6.49 for them, so not bad. You might have been able to get it cheaper somewhere else, like maybe like Walmart or something. Well, Walgreens, I think, is a little on the expensive side. But So I tried them out for $6.49. I'll get back to you on after I color a page. So many different whips going on. I, know, I think that would be fun. I'm going to try um, these alongside uh, the colors of the world one too. We'll give them a second shot. Okay. And I got this. I actually just got a new, some new paper. This is by Printworks. The one I usually use, this one, this Astro Bright that I, you know, I talk about this one all the time. Finally ran out of it in white. I have so I still have it in multiple colors, but I was usually picking it up um, at Staples when they were having free shipping, but they don't have free shipping anymore. So I didn't get it there. And then Amazon is actually ex more expensive than any place else that has it, I think, for this particular kind. And I think the, um, the one they have up is like even less amount of sheets in it. Then 80, I think maybe it has like 75. I don't know, some kind of smaller. It's really strange. It's a different amount than this one. So I ended up getting this one by Printworks. At the time I purchased it, it was $9.99 now that I'm looking at it on right now. I think it's $11.49. But I think I'm actually going to probably go forward and use this one instead of this color, this one. Unless I could find this, you know, if I go home to the store and get it cheaper, I'd pick this one up too. But this one is um, 67 pounds, whereas this one was 65 pounds. And I, I, I've been using it a little bit, and I like it. It's vellum. I don't think this is just smooth. So, I don't know, it's actually, it's pretty much, it's kind of the same, but I, I like that I got like 100 sheets out of this for $10. Um, rather than... I think on Amazon right now, this might be like $6.99 or maybe even more for a lesser, less, like a less amount of sheets. Oh, I got this from TJ Maxx as well. And I'm gonna say the crystal, this is not art supplies, it's, it's makeup, but my plant, they have, they've been having all this Morphe stuff on in TJ Maxx lately for like really cheap. I think all the beauty influencers that are like, you know, the ones that were in trouble, I think they're trying to ditch all their stuff. Like I saw James Charles, um, Jeffree Star, and what's her name? Jacqueline Hill, all, her, all, their, all their palettes I've seen um, for cheap at TJ Maxx. So this one, I got it. I, Bought this not necessarily for, well, I actually, my intention was, um, this is kind of like a rinky dinky palette in my opinion, because they don't even have the color, they have the color names on the, the plastic, so and not on the actual palette, but how much was this? Oh, I got it on sale for $16. So I'm thinking the sparkly shades, I wanted to depot them and make metallic paints out of them try and make metallic paints out of them and maybe um even put them back so i don't know if these matte shades will work out so nice to make watercolors out of i do have the ingredients necessary to do that but i just never i've never done it before but i always have intentions to try it out i thought I would, this was a cheap enough palette i thought i would try it with this you know a fun fact before i was obsessed with colored pencils I was actually obsessed with eyeshadow I have so many palettes of eyeshadow palettes whenever like a new one would come out when I was younger I would be like I had to have especially like Urban Decay ones I have a lot of those old ones sitting around I know you're just not supposed to keep wearing them after a certain time but I don't know they seem okay to me but 
I figure the older, like the really old ones, I thought I might turn them into watercolor paints. So stay tuned for that one. I probably never will do it. It'll end up in a pile somewhere. But I always have these great ideas and then I, my follow through um, is kind of lacking. <laughs> I'm lacking in the follow through department a lot. So this is another pencil set I got. I got kind of a few pencil sets the last two months. Actually, it was more like April more than March because I don't think I got too much. Most of the stuff I actually got this month in April. Not too many of the things are from March. But I got this set, Artex 72 Color Pencils. I do have a review on this. I'll put the card in, this, in the corner. Um, I, took the, I took them out of the box because um, if you watched my review, I wasn't too crazy for this setup. It, it's a good idea. I think it would have been better executed if they actually had, um, you know, a separate row for each pencil instead of two rows in one slot because they would, they, when you take one or two out, they start moving around. But other than that, I like, I really, really like these. I think they're really nice. This was actually the first Artex item, at Artex um, product I ever bought. I know they're, for me, they're most famous for the markers. So I would actually like to try out the markers at some point too. I think now there's been some more reviews on these than when I did them. Um, you know, more famous people have been doing some reviews on this. So you'll probably see more people talk about them. I wasn't, I know I did have somebody ask me about light fast readings, the light fastness on this. When I purchased these pencils, it didn't say anything about light fastness. So I wasn't even, actually, I was actually kind of, I kind of liked it that they didn't say anything about light fastness because I actually don't like it when they talk of, like when companies like, like a budget pencil talks about light fast, fastness without any, like anything to back it up. And I personally don't even care about light fast ratings. Um, I feel like if that's something that's important to you, then you really need to invest in a higher um, quality pencil or like a polychromos or something like that, like an actual true artist grade pencil and not like, you know, I me, mean, I'm like a hobby, like a hobby colorist. I don't really consider myself like an artist or anything like that. So when companies do tout light fastness, I think they're actually hurting themselves more than helping. Better off just to not even say anything, in my opinion, because then people are gonna challenge you and be like, oh, where's the evidence of this light fastness? So, that's my opinion. Don't come for me. <laughs> so uh, let's get on to the next set of pencils that I bought. I got I got another set of pencils in our pencil wrap. These actually came in the pencil wrap. These are not necessarily a new set of pencils. Well, technically, they, I guess they are. They're, been, they're a re release of the Starjoy, original Starjoy pencils. And I think it's really cool that they came in this wrap. The only thing a little disappointing is that they had to curate it down to 72 instead of their original 120 set. And I am not too crazy about all of the, col the color selection, but I think in the grand scheme of things, um, it's better to have some of them than not at all, you know? And I still have my, uh, my old set, so I can mix them in together. And I did do a review on these too. They did some improvements. They strengthen the cores. They did like a matte paint finish on the barrels. I think the colors actually match a little bit better. The barrels match a little bit better to the, the actual core than they did before. They move the color names down closer to the end of the pencil. So as you sharpen it, it'll be, you won't lose the info on it so much. I probably would have liked it if they would have put the color number beside where the color name is that rather than on the opposite side. I think that would have been a better design, but now I'm just being picky. <laughs> but um, I'm really happy they came back out. So, and then finally, I just bought some more of these white pens from the Dollar Tree. They say metallic on here, but it's white, so it's not really metallic, but these are, I love these. I'm That's why I went back to get more. I got, three more packages left of these. These work so much better than white gel pens. I use them in the dots for when I'm coloring eyes. They work really well for that. So 
try these. I, I would definitely recommend trying getting these if you come across them at your Dollar Tree. I think that's it for my supply haul. Next, we'll get into coloring books. All right, we're back. Um, now we're we moved on to the book haul, coloring book haul. My favorite thing is books. So actually, it's not really a book. This is a catalog. I just got this in the mail. I thought I'd show it to you guys anyway. It's a Dover coloring book catalog. And I thought it was so, I haven't seen something like this in a long time. It kind of almost reminds me of when you would get those, those little magazines for the bookmobile when you're in grammar school. So I don't know, I thought that was kind of interesting to show you guys too. You can even order the books by mail too. So very, very retro, very interesting. I thought anyway, I think I, I got this because I had ordered a bunch of this plant mom book for my 1000 subscriber giveaway. Actually it has a coupon code in here. If you guys want to check it out, 20% off of your order of $40 or more. DCLC. I'll put it in the description box too. It's good till May 31st, 2022. I had a, this give, I had a giveaway on this book. I gave out six copies to, um, had a random comment picker, pick six winners and I, mail them out. I, every, all of the ladies that I sent them out to have gotten their books already. And thanks again to everyone who entered that con. All right. And then this one is Enchanted Creatures by Gracia Salvo. I do have a flip through on this one. It just had some minor updates, mostly in the bases, a little bit of improvements to the original first edition copy. This was Gracia Salvo's first coloring book available now on Amazon. And then this one is, I was really excited for this one to come. In English, it translates to party. And this is a book it's that a children's book, not necessarily meant for adults, but you know, we, we like to color it anyway. It's a little less details, um, bigger, the images are larger, but it's really, really cute. Originally, this was a free giveaway book. Um, I think the restaurant chain was called Max Burger. It's I, I'm not I don't I'm not familiar with them because you know it's in a different country. But there was this one and another one. I'm hoping that she puts that one out too. And then next I have these two magazines, Coloring Heaven magazines, that Starry Night special, and this one, Fantasy Figures by this Maud Lamon. She's French, and who's the, this is Wu Sheng Ang. I was really in the market for this this book, but I ordered them since I ordered them from Etsy. And if you spend thirty five dollars, you get free shipping. So I actually ordered four magazines, and only I only got two. These two arrived separately because I ordered these two alongside another two. They were Coloring Heaven Junior magazine, so I guess they ship separately. But that. Second shipment never arrived to me. So I did contact Coloring Heaven via their Etsy page and they did tell me that they did, they were shipped separately, but I should have received the other package by now. So they're sending me out another um, set of that magazine. So it's really, really nice of them. I guess got lost from the UK to the US, but it was really nice that they were so attentive and they they shipped it out right away. They said I should have it by maybe May, May 20th. So looking forward to those books. I've seen lots of flip throughs of this one. I have a couple of these books already. They are in a square format. So I, and the paper is not, this is all, this paper is nicer than the book. So I'm actually happy to have these, this magazine. That's kind of why I was interested to get it. Alongside it has more images to color. And a lot of mystical and starry stuff. I have this, I had colored this page in the coloring books that I have. I'll show it to you. Yeah, it's these two, these two. I have Starry Night 3 and Starry Night 
four. Let's see which one is it? Turn the picture. Oh, see, this is this has this page in it. This has Amazon paper. Oh, here it is. I think I did it with gel pens. I must have did it gel pens or and markers too. Yeah, I must have done markers because I bled through the back of the page here. I don't remember. Yeah, I think it was gel pens, markers, and I must have did on top Prisma colors for this one. I did it a while ago. And then this one by um, I got this one too. I she's on Etsy. This artist and. I have been admiring her books she has on her Etsy page, and I did really want to get one, but it's like oh, they're kind of expensive with the shipping and everything happening right now. So I thought this was a really, really good opportunity to get some of her artwork. I think some of them say they're exclusive images in here too, but I think I've seen them since on her Etsy page. I think this is a little bit of an older that's really nice too. And we have this one, Kawaii Fairies. I also have a flip through on this one. This one is Ava Brown. I got, I like to get them when they're $3.99. And right, right when they first come out, when they're like in their kind of like introductory price. And then I think they go up to like $6.99 or $7.99. Then I don't, when it comes to that price, I don't really want it for that price. But for $3.99, I think it's a good price. And then plus they let you, they get a link to download the book. Um, you could get the PDF of the book too. So it's really, it's really nice. Yeah, I really like this one. This one kind of is up my alley more so than the usual ones they have. This one kind of reminds me a little bit of Jade, like a Jade Summer type of little book. And then this one also by Ava Brown. I just got this one. I didn't do a flip through on this one. I don't know. This one, I do like it, but something is a little like Uncanny valley to me about the faces in this one. I don't know, cause they, like, it, they seem like, I don't know if you can understand what I'm talking about, but just like, if it seems like it's like a mirror image of the faces, like it's exactly the same on either side. And that, I don't know, that seems kind of strange to me. Maybe I'm crazy, but <laughs> let me know what you guys think. I know, Karen over at Karen Colors did a flip through on this and I think we're gonna probably, I'm gonna ask her about what page she wants to do so we can do a color along for May maybe. So we'll see. And I, this is, I actually had this book already but I bought this from someone selling it on Mercari and the reason why I bought it was because it was spot they spy had spiral bound it and they put this plastic sheet on top of it and there are quite a few pages colored in here already i kind of i don't know i always feel kind of bad when i see people selling all their coloring stuff like i look at something like this and i think like oh this whoever sold this they must have been like really into coloring to be like put this much care into a book that they spiral bound it and put like a sheet this clear plastic sheet on top of it and like the pages in here are colored like really nicely and stuff and I always kind of wonder I'm like oh, why are they selling like I don't know maybe that's just I think too much into I don't know but I bought this because just to have like kind of the extra pages because I find it very difficult to color in this book the copy that I already have. Oh, I've tried a couple of times and it always comes out bad whenever I try. So I thought if I had this extra copy, I wouldn't feel so intimidated. Like I feel better trying it out stuff. Yeah, so I, don't know, I just got it just to have an extra copy, like a cheaper extra copy on hand. Then we have this one is 
Color and Fashion, a stylish adult coloring book by Alicia Blake. Now, I got this one for a pretty good price. It's all kind of like fashion. It kind of gave me like Peter Max, like 1970s kind of a vibe. And it kind of, that's kind of why it attracted me a bit to it. Like that yellow submarine Beatles type of a vibe for some reason. Um, so I like this one a lot. I didn't color anything yet, but I do plan to. I like all the patterns and stuff. I think this was pretty inexpensive. I think it was around $5, maybe a little bit more than $5. It's an older book. It's from 2016. Okay, so this next one is by um, Paulina Guskova, and it's called The Star Rain. I just happened upon this one one day when I was looking on Etsy, and there are some flip-throughs of it already on YouTube. Actually, I think I'll, I'll leave you the link to the artist herself's YouTube page so you could look at it, flip the flip-through. I didn't really, I was planning on doing a flip-through of this, but I was really, you can't, I don't think you can order it right now since you know she is russia based and she had to shut down her store so i don't know if she's ever going to come back on etsy or what the situation is really so i'll show you some of the pages it's a really really beautiful book and it wasn't that expensive either it's got like a paper's cardstock and Yeah, so I'll leave you guys the link to her YouTube channel. So if you want to watch, see the whole dedicated flip through of that. And then this one is called Floral Nymph Midnight Coloring Book. This one is by published by Aubrey Printables. Saw so this one, the artist was, I think, promoting it on Facebook. And I thought it was interesting. I like the different faces and the different flower names for them. For the girls, I probably wouldn't color this stuff over here, but I like the, the faces. They're nice. I did do a flip on this one too. And the paper's not great, but you know, you can't have it all. There's one. Um, named Phyllis, and that's my aunt's name, so I like this one, this one. <laughs> I, I actually never knew Phyllis was the name of a flower. I mean, it was just thought it was the name of my aunt. So, I think that was interesting. And this one is A Million Kawaii Cuties by Lulu Mayo. Um, this is actually called something different in, um, another like different countries this is not called kawaii cuties i think um, i'm not sure what it's called but i know i saw it somewhere that it's the title is different i think maybe in the uk it might be different because um i think kawaii might be like a local trend um maybe it's not really trendy over there or something but I did do a flip on this one. I think, so. yeah, I did a, a while ago, quite a while ago, but this is really cute. I just posted on my community tab. There's a new one coming out um, a long, a long time from now, but I put it up. I forgot, I already forgot what it's called. And then this one is called Fantastic Animals. I just happened upon this one when I was looking for something else on Amazon and I thought it was really cute. Kind of, it was pretty inexpensive too. The papers, not nice, but it is really cute. You could always print them out. This is more than one artist, as you could kind of tell. There's all different, but I like this one. This reminds me of that other book. Um, I'll remember it later when I'm not doing the video, but there's a, another coloring book that this reminds me of. Um, I can't remember it. Um, some of these, some, you know, like I'm not really into this kind of too much designs, but I, I like the ones with the animals. Like this is cute. I like the ones that with the animals that look like people. But this is a really cute one too. Oh, and this one, I think besides the Star Rain, after the Star Rain, this was my next favorite book that I got 
in the last few months. This is wild things. I did a flip through on this and I did color some pages in here. I wanna go back and color more pages. I love, love, love this book. This reminds me of when I used to work, I used to work in Manhattan. All these styles was, were like so in when I used to work there. Maybe like, well, now I'm dating myself. Like maybe like 10 years ago, like I love all these mixed prints. I used to do window displays at the store I used to work in and I used to look through Teen Vogue for ideas for the windows and this is like this just makes me think of that time like all, all these crazy mixed patterns and everything okay so that was my last coloring book I do have I did get these paper doll books from second sales um, they still have that sale that's going on by three get one free I always forget how it goes but I got all of these for maybe like 12 bucks. Um, some of them are not in as great shape as like the, they're all used. Like some of them, this one is kind of not in great shape, but I was like, whatever. I just like to look at them anyway. So I'll do a quick flip through of these. This one is called Great Costumes from Classic Movies, Paper Dolls. And when is this from? This is from around 2003. Has, you can see this is a newer one compared to these older ones. Oh, they're smaller. The, the old ones are bigger. Joan Crawford, Katherine Hepburn. Lana Turner, Greta Garbo, Claudette Colbert, I don't know her. Marlena Dietrich, Carol Lombard, Carmen Miranda, Dolores Del Rio, I don't know her either. <laughs> Betty Davis, she's my favorite. I love Betty Davis. Um, Jack Lemon, that's when. Um, I think that will be with um, oh, Some Like a Hot That's with Marilyn Monroe when they dress up like ladies. Rosalind Russell. Marlena Dietrich again. Lena Horn. Lucille Ball. Ann Miller. Rita Hayworth. Rita Hayworth again. This is Julie Andrews. Oh, Thoroughly Modern Millie, I like that movie. Mae West, Ginger Rogers, Betty Davis, again, my favorite, Gloria Swanson. Oh, that's, um, I think that's what that, is that movie with, um, was that Sunset Boulevard? And she goes, I'm, oh uh, yeah. And she goes, I'm ready for my close up, Mr. DeMille. I like that movie too. <laughs> Vivian Lee, Gone with the Wind, when she wears the curtains. Judy Garland. Um, and then we just have Debbie Reynolds singing in the rain, Judy Holiday. Okay. Then we have um, Vivian Lee paper dolls. No, this is from, from 1981. This one's old. We may have to zoom out for this one. Two costume. I'm not really familiar with um, any of her movies except for aside for Time with the Wind. I know she has like a British. She's really British, I think. Two costumes from Sidewalk Up London, 1938. This one's from Gone with the Wind. A lot of green and gone with the wind. I didn't notice that. Actually, I don't think I've actually ever even seen Gone with the Wind, to tell you the truth. I think I've only ever seen, you know, the one with um, Carol, Carol Burnett, the Carol Burnett show. I think that's the, that's the one that I've seen. That's the one I think of um, for Gone with the Wind. The Carol Burnett show. 
Shaun of the Wind stuff. Like, I think I've seen parts of it, but I never actually sat down and watched it. Two costumes from the Hamilton Woman. Clear Patch and Caesar. Anna Karenina. A street card named Desire. I didn't even know she was in that. Ship of Fools. Okay. And then this one is Gibson Girls or Gibson Girl Paper Dolls. This one, this kind of describes what they, as in what it is. Gibson, um, that's this Charles Dana Gibson, the Gibson girl, the all American girl turned into an American aristocrat. The thing that dreams are made of dated an era and made it hers. Gibson, Gibson's observation, observant illustrations had the world and all its foibles for the subjects. Gibson is created, credited, Gibson is credited with creating a second age of chivalry in American in the American male of the period and with creating a new freedom for the woman who patterned themselves on the modern, on the model he had fashioned. And then bathing suit, this is all different costumes. Men, a bow in town dress, a bow in country dress, croquet costume, Walking dress, walking dress, traveling costumes. I've been getting that dressed up to go traveling nowadays. Ooh, nightgown, negligee, visiting gown, at home or tea gown. Dinner gown, theater gown, theater gown and wrap. Bow art, ball costume, bow arts, ball costume. I don't know what that is either. What's a bow arts ball costume? You guys know? I don't know. Just a regular ball grant gown, escort and tails. This looks like my Halloween costume when I was the queen of hearts. That one. <laughs> Another ball gown, escort and tails, and bridal gown and groom. Presentation gown worn at the English court. Okay. Not really too into that one. Here we have American fashion designers. More like, does it say that the designers? Oh yeah, it does. This is Janssen. That's a pretty well-known um, film suit company, I think. Rudy Generic, I don't know him. Oh, a topless swimsuit. That's very risque for 1964. Well, I guess not. Everybody was kind of in a uh, hippie back then, right? Around the 60s. <laughs> and this one is Lucille Lady Duck Gordon. Maybacher. Familiar with that. World War II era Vera Maxwell. Coverall work suit. Clara McCardle popover dress. Adrian Evening Dress, 1945, Adele Simpson, Hattie Carnegie, Cocktail Suit, Nettie Rosenstein, Little Black Dress, Claire Potter, Omar Kiem, Valentina, Jersey Dinner Dress, Tina Lesser, Cotton and Denim Outfits, Norman Norell, Taylor Dinner Dress. This is like a I Love Lucy kind of dress. 1951. Paul Traeger. I don't know him. Ann Klein. I think she's still around, right? James Galeanos. Brocade Eastman Dress. Some more of this. Bill Blass. Jeffrey Bean. Oscar de la Renta. He's one of my favorites, Oscar de la Renta. Halston, he's one of my favorites too. Calvin Klein, Adolfo, Norma Kamali, as we're getting into like the newer, that I'm more familiar with these designers. Ralph Lauren, 
Isaac Mizrahi, Carolina Herrera, Bob Mackey. And then Donna Karen, Taylor Tu, and Vera Wang. They have 2000s Duchess Satin Wedding Gown. Okay. So that's it for all my books, coloring books, paper doll books, art supply hauls, everything in between. Thank you guys if you made it this far. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you coming, stopping by, spending some time with me. I hope everyone has a really great day. Happy coloring and I'll see you next time.